Welcome to the K1 World Grand Prix 2023 K-Festa 6 at the National Stadium, Yorgi First Gymnasium. I'm Russell Goodall. And I'm Nicholas Pettis. Let's look at the K1 Women's uh, Flyweight title match uh, between Kana from Japan versus uh, Funda Arkayes from Turkey. So Kana's been wanting to, to fight, um, I, well, I guess a lot of people from, from overseas too, and uh, here's her experience. As a, oh, as a title match. Did, did, I, did I mention that there was a title match? Yeah, this or the is flight the weight? flyweight yeah. title match. Wow. Kana always comes in and is really prepared mm. and in great shape. Mm. And her beautiful pink hair is right on spot today. Yeah. So, while they're fighting, before too many things start happening, yeah. um, Funda Akaias has actually got five different belts in Muay Thai and Kickboxing. Wow, so she's trying, trying for her sixth belt. She's yeah. coming in for the sixth belt. <laughs> <laughs> but I always find it interesting watching, uh, you know, people from different countries, like yeah. the World Cup, for example. It's always a little bit more exciting. Mm. Uh, I love this representation, and uh, it's great for the Japanese fighters too. Yeah. Because they get this exposure. Now that Japan is more and more opening up to. Oh, oh, that was a big bomb. Yeah. Actually, uh, Kana's fight record with the 20 wins is nine of them are by way of knockout. That's almost half. So half yeah. of her fights, she actually knocks someone out. Mm. Rafunda's fight record of 42 fights with 14 ways of knockouts and 7 defeats. Wow. There's a lot more experience here. She's mm. also a little bit older. Right. Five, five or six years older. Mm. Accommodation. Oh, that Hail Mary punch actually connected this one. Mm. Oh. Nice high kick. Yeah, I like that. Funda's like really, she brings in the punches and kicks whenever she can. And there's some more. Uh oh, 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 something wrong here, something wrong here, something wrong here. I think she dropped the mouthpiece. Oh, that's a down. What happened there? Oh. Well, so I'm very okay, confused, yeah. to be honest. I don't, yeah. I don't quite sure what happened there. We might see something on the replay there, but uh, it looked like she dropped something or she stepped on something, and then she just got hammered. <laughs> Here, what's going on? Ah, oh, she looked down. But she looked down. Yeah, she looked down, but doesn't. Look like there's uh, anything on the mat. There must have been it. something. Ah, okay. Now, uh, she looked down at her she, calf she got, kick. She got, she got that in was the injury of it. Now, because the trainer is putting some ice on her left leg. Hmm. Ah, I see. Yeah. So Maybe she thought that was an illegal technique or something. Ah. I mean, that's the only deduction yeah, I can yeah, say yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that, that must have hurt, that kick. That, that's why she... Because it stopped her. Yeah, her, her brain said, ouch, you know. Like, yeah. yeah. She looked down at it. Okay, but she's, oh, well. she's looking. Well, oh, man, oh. that leg, it could be broken, actually. Yeah? Yeah. I've broken that part of the calf many times. I think three times in different fights, actually. Wow. If Kana doesn't pick up on that and capitalize on it, then... It's yeah, we would say in Japanese, Motainai. Motainai, yeah. what a waste. Just but, uh, keep kicking that leg. <laughs> wow. Double low kick it. Tap, tap. Yeah. Do you know what? 
Do you think Kana's aware of that? No, I don't think so. Otherwise, no. she would have already kicked it. We're already, there you go. Mm -hmm. Maybe she is aware of it. Whoa, good combination. Yeah, this is an interesting fight. It doesn't seem Nice, to okay. Yeah. She's aware of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You think it's, it still could be broken? Because it seems that doesn't seem to be. Well, um, you could still fight. I've fought several rounds with a broken leg like that. But the, the skinny one on the on the side of the yeah. shin, that one right there, ah, and, and that actually cracks quite easy. Kind of knows it. Oh, she's great. Kind of knows it. Wow. Yeah. When you were fighting with that broken calf, did you know it was broken? Next? Um. Or later? You find out later? No. Ah, oh, there you go. There you so, go. Yeah. Oh, she's going down. Oh, yeah. Okay. Wow. See. Low kicks work. I always say it. <laughs> Tell him. Nick. Yeah. That's it. That's it for uh, in the Al-Qaeda from Turkey and Kana. That's it. Winner. Talk about Turkey. I fought Gluck and Saki, who yeah. also from Turkey. Yeah. In Rotterdam. And yeah. I broke my shin on oh, kicking really? his elbow. And I didn't know it. You kicked his elbow and you didn't know it. Yeah. Wow. I snitched his elbow wow. on the way in with a middle kick and it just cracked. Wow. The Turkey connection. Then after that, he kicked me on my knee and he broke his foot and I won the fight. Yeah. Can we see that one now? <laughs> Can we somehow pull that up? Ouch. Yeah. Well, this kind of just bringing it home to. Oh, that was a right. very well calculated fight. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. definitely a down there on the low kick. Wow. It's interesting, right? Because mm. she's actually taking advantage of being a little bit shorter here. Yeah, not a ah, lot. But interesting. Yeah, because that yeah. really low low kick actually works better when you're shorter than your opponent. Yeah, you need, you need some more kanas in the Japanese fighting world. Is Very yours? effective yeah. way of retaining her belt. Yeah, it's true. Here at the Kevin Women's Flyweight title match. Oh, I, I think she might really have broken on that whole she's uh, okay. Yeah, the best of Hunda. Now it's kind of with the champion belt. Well, she doesn't even look tired. I know, right? <laughs> she looks so determined when she came in. Well, actually, I thought that was a fantastic fight. Mm, yes, not comparing with any other fight, but uh, definitely a good fight. But uh, yeah, that old calf, huh? Yeah. No wonder, she, no wonder from the look down, it's like, what? The trophy. No, those are more fights we want to see. But boy, um, very tactical too. Mm. And very technical in the same way, but she knew what she was doing. I mean, I wish there were more fighters that were as calculated mm, as this fight. Mm, because you, this is a classic strategy of just taking down your opponent's fight. Yeah. Destroying him from the legs down. Wow. And it works. It is super effective. All you got to get good at is like, you know, the timing of the kick. Mm, mm. This is coming from the evangelist of the low, low kick. Definitely there. Kana-san had probably got a speech coming up but, you know, after winning this mm. uh, Atom weight uh, title match. That must have felt quite satisfying for her actually. Oh yeah, you can <laughs> tell. Yeah, because her face is so different from like before after the fight. こんにちは、かなです。え、花選手対戦してくれてありがとうございました。そして毎日自分のことを成長させてくれてるダグイさんはじめ、羽田さん、塚越さん、本当にありがとうございます。そしていつも応援してくれてる皆さん、ありがと
えー、まずしっかり一部のメイベントで、えー、KO で倒したことは本当に嬉しいですでもやっぱり自分が目指しているところはここじゃないんで今年世界最強のアニスタメク戦実現させます、うんえー、自分が世界最強、この K1 のベルトが世界最強ということを必ず証明します、世界最強の舞台を日本で必ず実現させます、えー、この後2部、3部続けてあのどんどん盛り上がっていくんで、長丁場ですが、皆さん、応援よろしくお願いします。K1 最高<笑>